Hey everyone, it is Asia Day. Today we are working on lower abs, which is my problem area, so I'm super excited about this workout today. We're gonna start off with straight leg sit-ups, 10 reps, or if you're a Pilates head like myself, also called a roll-up. So just lay down with your legs out, flex your abs, and begin rolling up towards your legs until you're in a seated position, and then roll over and touch your toes with your hands. On the way down, pull in your abs and slowly roll down to the floor. You wanna roll vertebrae by vertebrae. Roll with intention, if that makes sense. Try to keep your legs as straight as you can the entire time. You're gonna want to lift your legs as you roll up, but as your core gets stronger, you won't need to do that anymore. This is a Pilates classic. It's one of my favorite ab workouts, so enjoy it. All right, next we're gonna do straight arm leg toe touch for 10 reps each side. Lay down with arms and legs straight out. And we're starting with our right arm, so we're gonna lift our right arm and left leg together and touch at the top. Imagine like you're wringing out the left side of your core to get that great crunch in the middle as you're lifting out and then also in your oblique area. As you can see, Laura and I are kind of doing two different techniques. Both are right, whatever you want to do. I'm lifting up a little bit more further. As you can see, my, my back is lifted off the ground, but if it's too difficult for you to do that, you can do it Laura's way, which is just kind of keeping your shoulders, lifting your shoulders slightly off the ground. Either way, great workout. You will definitely feel this at the end of only 10 reps, so push through it, you got this. All right, next we're doing flutter kicks. Uh, lay down and place your hands under your hips so you get that extra support for your back. Contract your core and lift your legs off the floor and do a flutter kick. And that's really it, if you wanna lift your head, neck, and shoulders up while you're doing the shoulder kick, totally do that. That just adds a little bit more exercise to your workout, which is great, but up to you. Leaving your head down on the floor is just as good. All right, next we're going into star planks. Um, this is a new exercise for myself and I'm sure it is a new exercise for you. So start in a plank position and just imagine yourself moving to a star-like position by widening your legs and your arms at the same time. <laughs> so basically you're looking like a starfish at the end. And then once you get as far as you can without falling, move your arms and legs at the same time back into your plank position. Take your time, this probably will feel weird for a bit because this is a new exercise for all of us, but it is a great full body workout, so work on that. Finally, our last exercise of the video, elbow to knee bird dog, start on your hands and knees, reach out with the opposite hand and opposite foot and crunch your elbow to your knee so they meet underneath your body. We've done this before. Keep your wrists under your shoulders. Ladies and gents, that's it for the lower ab exercises on my channel. We had five on my channel. Head over to Laura's channel for the rest of the five ab exercises to tighten that lower part. We're halfway there, six more weeks, everyone. See you next week, Friday.